In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, controller method, uh, controller methods uh, return type, and uh, controller method arguments. But uh, the controller method that I'm referring here is not a, is not any method that you put in the controller. It's talking about those methods you annotated them with request mapping, get mapping, put mapping, or post mapping those. So let me give a, a scenario for you. Suppose in your controller, you have a method called a get mapping annotated with, and suppose called a, let's say just a set way. And for a method in Java, you have to have a return type, and you have your method name. Suppose just a call self. And uh, for a Java method, normal method, you have the method arguments here. So in the controller, when you have a method annotated with any request mapping, what the things I can put it here? And what's the thing I can use for the return type? So for the method arguments, okay, you actually already see lots so far so uh, the first one probably you used the most often is a model right to add attribute in the request scope by default and the second you how to retrieve the value you're using uh, from the query string or from how to retrieve request parameters you're using request prom the annotation and you can put others if you want to retrieve path you can using path variables, okay, which is a variable included inside your URL. And uh, you also uh, know when we're using Spring Form, you learned model attribute annotation, right? This annotation can be applied in the method argument, or it also can be applied on a method. You also learned the um, HTTP session, which you can directly use in uh, HTTP session to add an attribute in a session scope. Actually, you can also use in HTTP server-led server request to add, directly add the attribute in the request scope instead of using model. You also learned uh, um, what's the thing? Oh, today, you also learned a uh, session status session status this one you can call set a complete to make sure all the session attributes in current controller are removed from a uh, session scope when you add them using annotation session attribute right session attributes these session attributes, they, they work together okay they work together this session attributes is a class level annotation you have to add on top of the controller so the the other one is uh, when we learn PRG pattern we talk about uh, flex, uh, flash attributes then we learned about uh, redirect attributes to add the flash attributes okay mm, what others oh, okay there are something I haven't talked about, uh, which is uh, suppose you want to retrieve a cookie value, you can use an annotation cookie value. This is a very convenient um, annotation because in plain server APIs, if you want to retrieve a cookie, uh, a particular cookie, you cannot. There is no API for that. You have to. Uh, every time if you want to retrieve a particular cookie, you have to load all the cookies and do a for loop, okay? And um, uh, later on or tomorrow, I will upload for, I will talk about uh, the validation. And uh, when we talk about validation, you will learn another one called the binding result. And uh, uh, last one I'm going to talk here, not the least, is the domain model object. Okay, domain model. But this one is for the post. Okay, in the post spring, we are do the data binding for you. 
you might wondering uh, for the arguments, do we have an order? Okay, do we have a specific order for that? Uh, I have to say, for all the application you have built so far or you watch the video so far, there's no order. You can uh, do any order you want. And uh, another thing is, um, tomorrow, uh, oh, no sorry, in the future lectures when I talk, when I talk about uh, validation, then it do have one specific order you have to put for the arguments. And uh, uh, we talk about the model. Model actually has another one. You can also use in model map. Okay, model is an interface, and uh, it only provides a, a method for add attribute in the request scope. And if you want to retrieve the information uh, attribute, you have to use in model dot as map. Okay. Let me uh, let me change another color to show you. Okay. Uh, suppose you want to retrieve information, you can using model dot as map. Uh, this as map. Uh, the return type gonna be the Java util. This one is Java dot util dot map. Okay, and then you can using map dot get give a key. The return the value is an object. If you want to have specified uh, type, you have to do the down casting. And the Spring uh, provide its own implementation called the uh, model map. Uh, the the difference between them is Java util dot map. You must give a key and a value pair in order to uh, put the thing into the map. And uh, for the model map, you can directly using add attribute. Add attribute. You can only give the value. Okay. You can only give the value. So Spring's model map will automatically by convention to generate a key for you. Suppose I add a, a project. Uh, an object called a customer, okay? Customer object, okay? And what's the key? You have to take a look at what's the value, what's what's the type of this value you put in the add attribute. And suppose your type is called a class customer, okay? Then you just make sure the first letter is a lowercase. That's a convention key for the attribute, okay? Lowercase. That's a model and a model map, and you can also put the map, okay. They are kind of like uh, very similar, okay. Mo map, model, model map. So what I have, what I listed so far is for the method arguments, and uh, I will, in the description, video description, I will also um, put a link. It's an official document from the Spring. You can also take a look at the official document, okay? So the next part, I'm gonna talk about return type. So far, all the return type is a string value, right? String value, suppose in your, in the method, you have a return, something called uh, uh, product form when you have this kind of return statement this gonna be referring to the GSP page okay it will using a real view resolver to resolve the view this is the views logical name and if you you can also use in return like a forward okay go to another Go to like go uh, forward to um, uh, forward to a success. How about that? Okay. Then it's gonna uh, it, the the request gonna forward to another request mapping method. You can also return. Uh, what's the thing? Redirect. Like success. This is gonna make another call. The browser will make another call, go to the success. This is a string values. String value has two kinds. Second one, you can return model, 
okay uh, model and uh, model map uh, these two um, I don't use that often um, in, when you use this two uh, spring we are using the convention way to resolve the view name for you but uh, I don't have experience this one and uh, another one you can use it is a model and the map oh, sorry it's not a return like this the, it, you can re directly return an object called a model and a view this one equals model map plus the string value which is the view name okay got it you can directly the, this return type put on the method and uh, when you get an object of model and the view you can using that uh, uh, mv dot add object i couldn't remember exactly method and here you can give a key value pair to add the object into the request scope you can also using mv dot set view name and the name might be slightly different but you get an idea okay and here you give a product form and then you return this mv okay then it's gonna be uh, return uh, model attribute and the view name at the same time there are other things which actually will be used for the rest api if you want to using spring mvc or spring boot to build a rest application there are something called like a, a response body response body this one is used to convert your Java object into JSON, into XML formatter. Okay, you can also uh, have, you can also using void. Suppose you build a return void, return type is void. Suppose you build a RESTful application and it's uh, using for save or pro, uh, save a customer or place an order and you don't want to return anything okay you can read re, uh, the return type can be a uh, void there are other things which will be used in uh, there are other things which will be used inside the rest of application like called um, what's the thing called oh, response entity response entity will wrap what's the actual java object you want to do when we talk about uh, RESTful application, I will probably introduce this one. And uh, things we talk about REST here, uh, in the method arguments, you can also add another one called uh, request body. This one do is also for the REST application, which means uh, whatever the client uh, submit to the server side is either XML or JSON and uh, to be processed in the controller you have to convert to be a Java object and uh, res this response request body will convert JSON into Java object in order to use inside your controller methods okay so uh, in this video I'm talking about uh, two things okay the first is the method arguments. Let me uh, change up the pen color. The first is the controller method arguments. The other one is the return type. Uh, if you still have doubt, you can leave a comment. I also will um, have a link to the Spring's official website, which talk about the two things. Okay. Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, uh, if you like it, please click like and subscribe my channel. Thank you and uh, see you next time.